The final impact is that today, every school program and HR training program includes extensive training on the subject of sexual harassment. And these trainings must be repeated at least annually. As you can see, five elements were required to be present in order to change the culture of this country in regards to sexual harassment. These five elements are public sensitivity, awareness, whistleblower protection, both by society and law, legal protection, and continued education. So you may ask, why did the message of the campaign spread across the world so quickly? Many of us refused to accept the status quo and wanted to do something that would lead to positive change. The campaign provided a venue that people from various walks of life with different religious, educational, and political background could come together and work towards a common goal. An Iranian society that does not accept nor practices gender discrimination. Besides supporting the efforts of the campaign members inside of Iran, campaign had to become active outside of Iran in order to build a culture that does not tolerate gender discrimination. By communicating examples of everyday issues that women face at the civil and civic level, we challenge ourselves and others to think about the gender discrimination around us and to look for solutions. Let's talk about the achievements of the women's rights movement. Besides their brave contribution to women's rights movement, women are also a significant driving force in the green movement. In addition to bringing the challenges of women out in open, demonstrating the capabilities of women, documenting the contribution of women, there are recent cases of public demands for justice and respect for human rights, which have clearly learned from the non-violent opposition tactics of the women's rights movement. For instance, the birth of the group known as the Morning Mothers, who seek information and justice in cases of their murders of the post-2009 disputed Iranian election. Or, the Men in Hijab campaign, which was formed in defense of Majid Tarakoli, sheds light to the ever-growing support of men in fight for gender equality. They are spreading this message all over the internet this week. Being a woman or wearing the hijab is not shameful. Of course, there are many challenges. Some are old and some are new. Challenges inside of Iran are in two categories, government imposed and publicly imposed. Government imposed challenges consist of widespread arrests, such as last week arrest of over 20 participants of the Morning Mothers, lack of freedom of speech or press or assembly, firing practices due to women's activism in women's movement, such as the recent case of Nargis Mohammadi, and the second wave of cultural revolution against women that is taking place now, where the field of studies, choice of universities, and attendance quota are aimed to limit women's presence in society. Publicly imposed challenges are general public is not widely engaged in following the news and due to limited access to computer, satellite TV, lack of women's specific publication, slow internet connection, and consistent filtering practices by the state, as well as increased security concern, has made it very hard to distribute the message of women's rights movement. We have many challenges outside of Iran. Although most of, in most cases we have received encouraging feedback from the Iranian community living abroad, small group of the community not only have not supported us, but also they have engaged in labeling tactics. Some of the comments are, any civil movement that is not focused on the demand for democracy is creating diversion, Nepal. Civil activists are acting as agents of the government. You are delusional in thinking that we can have an impact or change hundreds of years of trend of patriarchal society. Or blaming all women's challenges on religion. So what's the answer to all of these changes, challenges? Well, I believe in contemporary world that we live in, the fear of the unknown and presence of tradition should not prevent us from embracing change. After all, demanding gender equality neither means that a patriarchal society will shift to the opposite spectrum and become a matriarchal society, God forbid, nor it is a threat to securing democracy for the entire nation. 
In fact, the Green Movement is supported by a rainbow of various civil movements such as women's rights, uh, rights movement, student movement, worker movement, and so on. After all, women's rights is human rights, and every day is the right day to talk about it.